Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy Not the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn the Frozen Wilds. We're uh, far up north. Apparently next to some bunkers or something like that. Must be the cave that shaman told me about. Long way down. Drone hangar. Drone hangar. So that means, yeah, airplanes. Look at that. But it also means traps, apparently. So we're looking for the spear shaft that might help us improve our spear. But this place seems to be guarded by a stalker. Um, I'm wondering if I can take that out from here. Let's go into stealth and... I might not be alone down here. So as usual, those things don't really cause damage, but it does cause the stalker to come investigate normally. Just gonna take out all three of them. Let's see if I can't lure it over here already. Although it doesn't seem like it. Uh, let's drop down. Ow. So that took out the shield. Let's go quietly. I'm kind of stuck. Birds. Oh yeah, so that's what he was talking about when he was talking about metal birds or just the uh, airplanes. Blue glue. Always handy. I think I'm actually I actually have enough to buy the bow I wanted to buy. The better version of the Ooh. Is this it? No metal shards. Been hacked out of it. Maybe I can find another of these flying machines. So the the sharp the better version of the sharp shield bow, that's that what I was. Flying machine over a little. Ah. Okay, so this is just the area, but there must be a stalker nearby. Gonna have to deal with that thing first then. Can I climb over this? No. Wanna be careful, but this'll help. Doesn't seem like there's anything really close by at the moment. Aside from a, a few supplies, because that's Maybe actually there's some way to get that flying machine over Ooh. here. What's this? Animal figure. Figurine, sorry. So let's go up. Must be a console for the uh, to move the plane over. Uh, yeah, there it is. Platform console. Um, but the. Mm. I can use my focus to look around. Yeah, I know. I know, Aloy. You already scanned it with your focus. There we go. Slow mo for just that distance. I mean, it's 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 still impressive that she does that, but we've seen it a few times now. Let's activate the console, and that moves up the plane. Easy as that. Huh. Not so grounded after all. Now I can get across. That would have been a nice joke if you would actually know what an airplane is. Um, so that means I can now check out the railing over here. Or not. Oh, no. Wait, what? Damaged. Guess the new guard he got to it. Hmm, magnetic clasped, clasped rail for mounting ordnance. Damaged by inexpert part removal. But that means I can now use the plane to get up higher. There we go. Oh, bumped my head there. There we There's go. The okay. Door lock. I'll need to configure it. Let's listen to this one. Holo lock reset. Those punk technicians think I'm gonna sleep on them waltzing in here and screwing around with the drone routines. They have seriously underestimated my sense of mission. Let's just reset that hollow lock. Echo Sierra Echo. Echo Sierra Echo. Oh, yeah, okay, so Echo Sierra Echo is east south. I wonder if east. my focus can pick anything. No up. no, so clockwise east. Wait, what? Oh, I pressed the wrong button, never mind. So east, south, and east. There we go. Unlocked. 
Easy as that. Uh, is there anything behind this thing? No, I can't even move behind it. Okay. Um, let's take a look around with the focus. Nothing here immediately, but I can drop down. Let's just drop down. Ooh. Right on top of a supply crate, which is always handy. And then this thing. Another one from Dolt Blevins. So Blevins is the I guy we heard about already. Flying cameras. I need security, not surveillance. And security means firepower. As God is my witness, I will not be caught squirting blanks if and when a major act of terrorism desecrates these facilities. So we know Mr. Blevins is the lead uh, in one of, well, in the Firebreak project, the technical lead. And he's an asshole, so I understand Mr. Blevins. If I select that, yeah, there we go. Miss Spines, Dot Blevins, right now I'm looking at a security drone. It was requisitioned from Faro Automatic Automated Industries to serve the needs of the Firebreak project. It is, in fact, one of an entire fleet handpicked by me and allotted for our use by Ted Faro. Yes, the man so far above you on the ladder that he might as well be gold. And I have a direct line to your father in heaven. Damn, he's an asshole. Now, you and I had a conversation in which I tried to impart to you the sensitive nature of our project. And if I recall correctly, you said, I understand, Mr. Blevins. I took you at your word, which apparently was a flaw in my judgment, since you have sent me a goddamn fleet of flying CCTV cameras and a bunch of jerk-off eggheads who think they know more about protecting this country than I do. Now, your technicians are going to provide me with the firepower I need to prevent the major act of terrorism from occurring in or around my facilities. And they are going to do so without increasing our project budget, because Miss Pines, this is your screw-up. And I am a reasonable man, but so help me, if you add another cent to Firebreak's balance sheet, I will see to it that you, you personally, answer to Mr. Farrow and his board of directors. So I want you to call me back, I want you to leave me a message, I want that message to consist of four little words. I understand Mr. Blevins, and this time I want you to mean them. Perhaps my focus can help me. Yeah, because Mr. Blevins is a kind of a douchebag, but yeah, he's had... He apparently has a very important project under his mantle. But we still don't know much about um, Firebreak. No one's touched this machine since it got sealed in here. So that means Mounting that that rail. is mine. Mounting rail. Shouldn't be hard to remove. That means I'm also going to get ambushed by... That shaman when I'm back in Song's Edge. Did you actually remove something? That was weird. I'm gonna get ambushed by that stalker any minute now. Um, there is another message here. Another text message from Harris Bonner. Ban him. From Harris to Kenny. So Kenny is, I think, the boss, the big boss of the Firebreak project, while uh, Blevins is the technical man. I get it, okay? I really do. Pharaoh is Firebreak's patron. Blevins is Pharaoh's lapdog. Circle of ass kicking, blah, blah, blah. But if you allow Blevins to remain on site, installation is going to take twice as long as we're budgeted for. And I don't know how deep Firebreak's pockets are, but I can guarantee you they're not bottomless. We've just got Don recalibrating the entire fleet. The entire fleet, Kenny! Why, I imagine you're wondering? Oh, Kenny, I'm so glad you're hypothetically asking. Blevins was unhappy with the baseline behavioral routines that of the security drones. You know, the ones he selected himself. Not aggressive enough, he said. A data rottweiler mounted on an ICBM would be aggressive enough for him. So he patched in some combat behaviors, which, let me tell you, was not easy. Basically outfitted these things for war. Think about that, Kenny. Bleeding edge combat drones patrolling an empty wilderness. Also, Blevins can play army on Firebreak's dime. I'm begging you, Kenny. Find a way to bar him from the hangar. Please. Harris. So yeah. Um, Kenny was the leader of the Firebreak project, but uh, it seems that Blevins had operational control of everything here. Which means that he could bark orders the, as much as he liked. But, uh, yeah, that doesn't tell us much more about the Firebreak project than we already knew. So we can climb this thing from this side. I'm just gonna go into stealth because... I still think that stalker is gonna be... yeah. Uh oh, oh. 
Um, I am gonna put a few... I'm gonna take cover. Come on, walk through it. That's critical hit it, move back, because there's another one here. Oh wow, he just ignored that one. Yeah, that one is not firing. There we go. Goodbye, stalker. A plus 41% tear coil. Let's pick my blast wire back up. And uh, let's leave this place because I can show now show that to the shaman. And hopefully we'll be able to improve my spear, which is going to do a lot more damage then. So see you guys in a second. So back at the shaman's little uh, outfit here. And uh, yeah, is let's talk to Kamut. Hush, hush. A shaman's secrets are not spoken aloud. Is this what you wanted me to find? Bind it to your spear. Use it to attach this for now. You'll find more, I'm sure. Why? Yes, I have. The blue light is fading. The machine songs are ending. And, and what does the conclave do? They sit, they chant, they observe. No more. We must fight for it. And you? You are a fighter. We share a cause. I'm not sure we do. I'm not even sure what the cause is. But I'm grateful. No need for thanks. Only action. Well, the action has already come. Works for me. Your spear now has slots for modifications. Press the touchpad to go to treasure boxes to grab a spear mod, and then we can modify it. I also got a bit of blue gleam, which we're gonna do in a second. But first, so two modification uh, slots, which I'm just gonna I have two damage spear mods. So let's. Equip that and equip that. So that almost, yeah, that gave me a 50% boost. First spear modification. There we go. Another trophy, uh, which is good. There we go. Next up is our next uh, skill we're going to unlock. Mount repair plus increases mount health and repair speed. There we go. Two more skill points and we can fully unlock the traveler skill tree. But now, let's go spend some of that blue gleam we've been uh, gathering. So let's get back to uh, Song's Edge, which is not far from here. Oh, and uh, see what we can do. Coming at once. So the blue gleam merchant. Let's have a little chat with him. So, three bows. We have the striker bow, which is one of my favorites, to be honest. The champion bow, which uses the elemental uh, arrows. And now we have the power shot, which is what I'm using for now um, as my standard weapon but I think I'm gonna swap out 16 blue gleam for this for the striker bow and that's gonna replace um, hmm. I think the rope caster for now so first blue gleam trait another trophy let's swap it out for the trip caster for now there we go and then let's see what we can do to upgrade it. So I just compared it to my other hunter bow and it's actually double the damage already even when not upgraded while my other one is upgraded. Uh, so let's see, damage coils. I can't do shock damage with it so I'm just gonna go for pure damage. There we go. And then maybe... I have a tear combined with damage coil. And then another one of the damage coils I think. You know what? No, I'm gonna go for full damage. So 38 damage added on top of that. So now it's, this thing is kind of a powerhouse. And it's probably gonna be my go-to weapon for I'm now. So uh, thank you for that. And, uh, well, with that done, we're gonna head towards... Well, we're gonna continue on with the main quest and head towards the... Uh, I think it's... Yeah, Long Notch. So see you guys there in a second. Oh. Um... I actually um, have a bit of a detour now because these guys are the hunters that Burgund was talking about. So let's talk I to them. I don't suppose you three know an Osram and Song's Edge called Burgund, do you? <laughs> Boys, that con artist sent an errand girl to collect what's owed to him. 
I'm nobody's errand girl. Bergen asked me to help harvest parts. Or would you rather keep trying yourself with broken junk? Broken junk? This pack will be on the move soon. No time to argue. If she's offering to help, we should accept it. Fine. We're about to take down these machines. If you're so eager to help, then lead the way. Okay, so we have to lead immediately. So now, let's um, do this quest while we're at it, right? So there's two control towers, which means I should probably just equip my precision arrows and take advantage of the situation. There we go. That's one. And then this one, I think I can actually hit from here as well. Oh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three, and there we go. Now they're hunting me. So there we go with the towers, which means that now they're not aggroed yet. There's only three of them. One of them is a scorcher, though. So let's point a their blast arrow at the scorcher. We have a bit of backup. Oh my god, I hit that guy with a... Uh... There we go. Let's go with the hard point arrows. Wow, the spear is amazing now. Oh my god, okay. Jesus. Okay, I shot his weapon off. There we go. Let's pick up the mine launcher again. Let's just go to town with this thing. Holy shit. There we go. And there it goes. Get back. Good hunt. Yeah, indeed. Gather a Scorcher Claw. There we go. We got the Scorcher Claw. And talk to Tatai. Who's Tatai? Are you here to die? No. Yeah, those are the mines exploding all over. Oh, there she is. All right, I'm Lander. supposing you're her. You want to talk about our deal with Bergrind? Let's talk. That's done. You three are pretty handy in a fight. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Not that we needed your help. We are doing just fine without you. That's not the way Bergrind tells it. He says you tried to settle up with him using a shattered Thunderjaw heart. What? That's an exaggeration. It was only broken in two. Urkai, we don't yeah, have time broken. for this. In Come two. on, boys, back to the hunt. We still need two more of Bergeron's components. What's the rush? We want out of these lands as soon as possible. That's all you need to know. Uh-huh. So why... Yeah, they won't tell us, probably. The cut? Well, we could go back to Banor. Let Anakut slit our throats. By the blue light, Orkai. Why don't you just write our story in the snow for any passing hunter to read? <sighs> we had a dispute with the chieftain of our old Werak. We thought someone else should have been in charge. He disagreed. It seemed like a good time to move on. So, we are traveling to the Sundom. Okay, that seems like a far away from home. From here to the Sundom. It's a long trip. Seems worth it. Sometimes survival is about knowing when to leave and where to go. Yeah, 
And in this case, survival means us getting as far away as we can from Bonor. We've seen enough red snow. What's the plan once you get there? What will survival be about then? Look, all that matters is that we get there. And to do that, we need shards. So if you'll excuse us. Uh, we can still help. So this Thunderjaw heart you brought Bergren. Let me ask you this, all right? Why would it matter that the heart was broken into two pieces? Can't you just stick it back together? Of course you can't just stick it back together. I just meant... Oh, I bet that scam artist Osirim could. He just wants to send us on another stupid errand. Oh, he's not so bad. I like Bergrind. Like him? Tulamak, he sent us out in the snow to nearly die under the feet of a Thunderjaw, and... Boys, shut up! Ugh! Every time someone brings up that stupid heart. Okay, it's a sensitive subject, clearly. I've got the Scorcher Claw Bergrin was asking for. That only leaves the Stalker Sinew and the Snap Mawfang. You should hold on to it. You're coming along to the next hunt, after all, aren't you? I suppose somebody's got to keep you three out of trouble. Fine. I guess you'll have to tag along, then. But don't start thinking you're one of us. The bloody snowdrifts aren't accepting new hunters. <laughs> bloody snowdrifts? That's what you want to call our Warwick? Yeah, it's not great to tie. It's not like your names are any better. So... You. We're headed northwest, to the ruins near Hollow Hall. We'll be waiting. So since you three are going to form a new Warak, who gets the girl? Well, good luck to you three. Uh, I'm going to continue on my way. So, uh, well, unless anything else happens on the way, I guess I'll see you guys on the... Hint the, the hint the long notch the long notch we are at the hint yeah never mind okay see you guys in a second so control tower in my back I don't really care for it all that much so let's enter this area seems like it's a little camp of its own with a few side quests in it talk to Urea and talk to Aratak talk to Aratak is optional but I like to do optional things, so let's just quick save and talk Long to well Aratak first. Asked. And our scouts are watching for more frost claws. Our numbers rise. Three more hunters have That's passed it. their trials. I'm already gone. But our purpose was to take back the mountain. Now what? Stay prepared. Sharpen your spears. Should we not return, defending the cut falls to you. If our chieftain agrees with this course. Sounds like good advice. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. Chieftain? The weight of command is no small burden. I can see that. Okay, so let's talk about you and your sister. I take it you haven't spoken to Araya yet? Why should I? This is what she wanted, to return to Thunder's Drum. It is her only care. So I should have known she would find a way to push aside my spear. After the Karja took my sister, not all of her came back. Uh, okay, that is new information. What happened to Araya when she was a captive of the Karja? As a shaman, she's adept with machines. Tracking them, stunning them. The Karja used her to capture them for the Sunring, where they were unleashed upon the innocent. They made her part of their blood sport. The shame she suffered beneath their pitiless sun. She survived. She endured. Endured by reminding herself of the spirit. Her purpose. And now that's all she has. Hmm. That's a sad backstory. Okay. Tell me about the first expedition. Tell me what happened to the first expedition. Rhea led the way to the summit. But it was blocked by a great door some kind of cauldron new metal we tried to break through but it was unflinching we were exhausted no way forward and machines behind i made the call to push back it cost us greatly but to remain would have cost us everything I had hoped to never subject Array to that again. Well, the difference is, is that we can open the door. What do you think is beyond that door? I do not know. That expanse of metal, that dead hum, 
Nothing sacred belongs there. Machines and death. That's what the mountain holds. Death for us, or for the daemon. And if we do find the spirit? Then perhaps we should put it out of its misery. Okay, then. Um, farewell. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're coming with me. Hmm. Someone has to keep Araya safe. We brought a first time well, on the hunt today. that's not... Um, <laughs> should have seen the look of pride that, on that's face. not really friendly, Aratak. We can take care of Aurea. Um, we have two more side quests that we can no, start here, so we might as well do that. You're Aloy, right? My pop... Burgund, I mean, told me you might be heading up to see me. Varja, pleasure. Hey, that spear is really Nice something. to meet you. You've customized her, haven't you? I've made a change or two. You've got an eye for weapons. I wish these Banuk agreed with you. I can't seem to sell scrap to a Glen talk around here. Everyone wants boring old bows and spears. I like the more unusual stuff. And the Banuk can get unusual. Like that spear Aratok hauls around? An ice rail. Ooh, or that weapon of Araya's? What I wouldn't give to poke around inside one of those. Feel the lightning on my fingers. Or inside of anything, really. Last commission I had was a month ago. A weapon that spat fire. That didn't go well. Oh, we got uh, all three of them, actually. I've got a nice rail, just like Aratox. You want to take a look? Uh, are you serious? Y yes, yes, I'd love that. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Obvious design flaw. So if I replace these... Yeah, that should... <sighs> right. So, believe it or not, she's operating at... Let's be generous. Half her potential. What's with the she's? <laughs> oh. Pop says all weapons are girls. I don't think he realizes it's a compliment. Uh, okay. Well, listen, if we had a Thunderjaw's mandibles to work with... Her gears would be well and truly greased. And I know where to find one, if you want to go hunting with me. Ooh, sounds cool. Um, I've also got a storm sling and a forge fire, but... Remind me what we need to fix up this thing? That Thunderjaw's mandibles will do it. Ah, okay. That's just reminding. Okay, and so, then storm slinger? let's say someone you know happened to have a weapon like Araya's. You don't. See for yourself. Of course. Look at the... So the coils generate the spark... But the power source isn't even bolted in. I won't lie. She's beautiful. But there's beautiful and then there's beautiful. What we need is a Stormbird Talon. Lightning flows over them like water off a goose. And I know where one is. Hunt it with me. I'll turn a that weapon into a your best friend. And second best. Okay, and then the Forge oh, Fire? That spits flame, huh? Like this one? I took this thing off an Osaron Bandit. Think you could do anything with it? <laughs> you got my forge fire back? Well, if you took down Olgrid and his goons for this thing, I guess she's yours now. Why don't you finish it for me first? Make it... make her into the weapon she was supposed to be. Thought you'd never ask. I'm gonna need a bellowback snout. Any bellowbacks will do. Can you handle it alone? I think I can manage that. Um, we already... Killed a battle so back, parts but from a stormbird and a thunderjaw, and you know where to find them. That's right. It's gonna take some traveling, though. We can find a thunderjaw out in the valley meet, and a stormbird roost near the free heap. I'll pack and meet you out there. This will be fun. Okay. If you don't die, but yeah, this will be fun. So, and then the last one, because this is interesting. I can upgrade my uh, elemental weapons that I never use. Um, I've heard of you, Andres. Each of the many verses of your song tells of an impossible victory. What happened to your the face? Echo across the cut. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Hmm. That I know. My song used to echo around Banur. Umnak, the hunter of legendary machines. That's why I'm here. For another. They call it the claws beneath. Or they did when I was younger. Its defeat would have given my song a fine end. Oh, yeah. I used to travel between Banur and the Cut without stopping to sleep. But this trip... My bones ache, Huntress. But you... 
Out hunting Aratak. Leading your own Warak. If half your song is true, you are the only hunter I trust to go in my place. You want me to hunt for you? Not just for me, no. For an old friend. Um... Who who is that old friend? You but yeah. You want me to hunt in your place? Is that some kind of Banuka custom? Well, perhaps it should be, but no. We survive and we prevail until we fail to do either. I confess, this is not easy for me. For any other machine, I would die as I have lived, a Banuka hunter, weapon raised. But too many good lives have been lost to the claws. Throwing my old corpse atop the pile accomplishes nothing. Better to live in a world without the claws than to die while it still makes children orphans. Okay, sounds like a plan. Sounds like you've got a reputation. To be Banuk is to push your body to its limits. I found my limits higher than most. Fearsome machines needed killing, and in my youth, I found I had a talent for killing them. Even now, my name carries such weight that when the claws beneath re-emerged, the Werak came to me. Do you still have the same faith in yourself that your Werak seems to have? Perhaps I did. Before I held my bow in shaking hands. Noticed, for the first time, the spots on my knuckles. What a strange thing it is to be old. To stare backward and see such distance but to stare forward at a looming wall. So what exactly is the claws beneath? This machine, the claws beneath. Why travel all the way to the cut just to hunt it? Some songs. They include a refrain, the return of a past moment. It seemed fitting. You've hunted this thing before. Must have been 20 winters past. We were so close to bringing the claws to bay. Closer than anyone else ever got. We? Me. And my friend. He was a chieftain of my Warak then. A skilled hunter. Every few years the claws would emerge in a new location. I knew of two chieftains he'd sent to their burial pyres. My friend became the third. This hunt. I had hoped to complete it in his honor. Well, we uh, definitely hope we can help. This is obviously important to you, Umnak. Are you sure you want someone else to take down this machine? Well, I am no longer a match for the claws beneath. If I ever was. If I face it, it will kill me. Of this I have no doubt. The Banuk blood in my veins screams at me to take on the claws myself. But I must see it brought down. And dead men see precious little. I'll yeah, especially with one eye. I'll do what I can. I've no doubt you can do quite a lot. The stories say the claws beneath returns here only once every six winters. The whispers I've heard say it now makes its home on the northeast edge of the cut. Hunt well. Okay, thank you, Umnak. Um, so that does it for now, I think. Before we head up to Thunder's Drum, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, when we get back, we're going to head up to that dangerous, scary-looking volcano. So see you guys next time. Goodbye.